Alex Forsyth, BBC News. Um, just a point, the visa-free access being proposed for Turkey is for the Schengen zone. So aren't you, by suggesting uh, <coughs> the impact of EU expansion, uncontrolled immigration on schools and housing, just indulging in Project Fear? And secondly, on the renegotiation of David Cameron, isn't the point of a negotiation to compromise and reach agreement? Aren't you just hyping up the role of Germany uh, to portray the UK as weak to further your own campaign? Okay, let me deal with the first question, which is, uh, hang on a second, access to Europe and joining the European Union is part of the process, okay? So there is no proposal that says uh, Turkey or Macedonia others will not now start processes to join the European Union. I'm talking about uh, what is coming down the tracks is the membership of these other countries to the European Union. And the point is, once you are a member, uh, you have the right of access into the UK because we have no right to withhold that from you. It's also worth pointing out uh, that uh, there are parts of the, uh, well, let's say the whole of the European Union, if somebody is in the European Union for a period of time can get citizenship if they've come over here into the Germany or whatever as a migrant within a period of years. Different countries have different timescales. Some even sold passports to people. Uh, but the point is that that means they will access the UK at a fairly reasonably fast rate. So my point here is that the entry of Turkey and the others is part of this debate because we're not voting about where we are just today. People who vote remain and stay in the European Union need to know what's coming down the tracks is a remarkable set of changes to make things even worse in my book than they are already. Uh, going back to the negotiations, look, the purpose of negotiation is to achieve as much of your objectives as you possibly can and then decide whether or not on balance you agree it or you don't agree it. It's not compromise. Compromise is a tool to achieve your objectives. Compromise is not the objective in itself. And that is the problem with the European Union. It becomes compromised for its own sake so that nothing gets damaged in the European Union. My view very categorically is uh, the Bloomberg speech, followed by that, that, that key point about having control over our own borders, would have given us, I think, a very strong different status which would have been then much more likely to achieve the votes of those who might want to remain because we would have a really self-governing process in there and make the rest of the European Union change their ways to make it more flexible and better. None of that was achieved. Uh, what we ended up with achieving was a compromise and that compromise satisfies pretty much absolutely nobody and leaves us weaker in my book.